Hi, on this video is a do-it-yourself to make your own photo album. The things that you'll need for this is the clear sheet protectors. You can get them at any stationery. A ring binder. And this binder case, I don't know if you, it's kind of hard to see it, but it's got a zipper on it. It covers the case. You can buy them anywhere. And regular things like a stapler, tape, scissors, some random paper. Now you'll want to use two pieces of colored construction paper per each one of these. So this of course has the opening in the top. You put two colored construction papers in there and that will be the start of the photo album. I'll show you the end result of the photo album in a minute here. This is actually my photo album right here, it's already finished. Um, what I want to say about using two pieces of paper per one of these covers is that you want to be able to um, take them out and if you want to change something on this side it doesn't disrupt anything that's on the other one. So another thing is when you use two pieces um, of the paper, then when you go to close it, you'll have a little um, spot in the middle that you've created that you can put some kind of extra photo in between the two or some kind of souvenir or something that you want extra within your photo album. And you can just sneak that in the middle. And the last thing I want to say before I show you the finished project is when I've got it all the way I want it, the, the photos, and I might have a little write-up that I'll put on a piece of paper and stick it on there, and a little explanation of things I want to remember about this photo I might put there. At any rate, when it's all finished, whatever you want on this side's done, whatever you want on the other paper is done, um, what I like to do is put one staple in the top because the last thing you want to happen is when you're passing around your photo album you don't want the things to fall out so staple the top when you're done okay so here is the finished project and all the lighting isn't great in here I'm gonna try not to uh, I don't know why that is so glossy. Anyways, I'll do the best I can with this. I think you get the general idea. You've got your three ring binder inside the zipper covering case. What I've done is I've put um, some, I think it's shoelaces or something, some kind of material I use there to do an extra security uh, just in case these things open sometimes and I don't want to lose any of the pages. So I've got that in there. You can't really see it, but it's you can do the same thing if you want. It's just because you don't want to lose any of these pictures, especially if you've got them in chronological order. So this is my photo album from beginning to end. Um, let's see here. I just want to show you a couple of the write-ups like it's good to write something that will help you remember whatever pictures in here this is just a drawing I did when I was in high school this is a drawing that a friend of mine did when we were in high school so it just kind of brings back memories and this is just some pictures from Hawaii but I like to write down a lot of things. Notice how the different colored construction paper sure makes a difference when you make these up. It just looks nice. And uh, if there's room left then it's easy to open these up because you have just put one staple there. Later on you can add pictures if you want. Here's another where you can write a full um, documentation of your experience there. And if you want to, you can go in fancier and put the little stickers. I know people, I've seen people's 
photo albums before and they do all the scrapbooking and whatnot so you can make it as fancy or as simple as you want here I just added a little story of what happened while we were down 3500 feet underground and I just wrote out a little story so you can add a little short story if you want it really helps for uh, remembering now this is a little extra what I put in here is of my grandmother and this is her bonnet that she had when she was a baby so right now this bonnet is probably at about 109 years old and I've just carefully sewn it onto this cardboard and then slipped it in to um, this cover sheet and it stays there perfectly it's protected and it's part of my photo album so yeah you can add extras you can um, make it as special as you want but everything's protected if you have the zipper uh, cover over your binder and it turns a regular binder into a photo album and it's more special because you can personalize it even more so good luck with your project